The Nigeria Hypertension Society has raised the alarm over increasing cases of sufferers and has called the federal government to ensure affordability of drugs for citizens as well as encourage manufacturing companies of blood pressure drugs and other medications. This call was made by the National President of the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, Baba Audu, while delivering his address at the 24th Scientific Conference and Annual General Meeting of the Nigeria Hypertension Society held at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital last week in Lagos. Plus, TV News correspondent Love Oyedokun tells us more in this report. The conference kicked off with a physical exercise session in the morning. For 30 minutes, the medical experts in attendance walked around the premises to demonstrate the importance of exercise in managing and preventing hypertension. When you do perform exercise like this, it has a lot of advantages. It helps you to keep optimum weight. And this is one of the ways of preventing hypertension. The conference with a theme, management of hypertension in a depressed economy, and the sub-theme, hypertension in children, commenced after the exercise. The venue was filled with leading experts, researchers, and healthcare professionals in the field of hypertension management. Bala Audu, the president of the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, raised the alarm about hypertension as a global health concern. He disclosed that approximately 1.28 billion adults, especially in low- and middle-income countries, are hypertensive. Audu called for increased awareness, early detection, and lifestyle modification to prevent hypertension. This message was echoed by Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Ake Abayomi, in his goodwill message. Attention, as we also know it, is a leading cause of sudden death from things like heart disease, stroke, renal failure, and so on, and some of its well known complications. It is a disease that is best prevented. Early detection is also very easy of escalating cost of healthcare and of access to drugs. But we're doing a lot in this direction to try and see if we can stabilize the cost of medication. The Lagos State Government is about to establish a drug management agency which will not only create an avenue for us to cost contain but it will also promote the production locally. Similarly, Simeon Isezo, the president of the Nigeria Hypertension Society, NHS, appealed to the government to ensure the affordability of medicines for non-communicable diseases, especially hypertension. Hypertension is on the rise. Hypertension has been known as a silent killer in the sense that it predisposes to many problems, stroke, somebody who just wake up, you can't move one part of your body, heart failure, kidney problem, heart attack. However, these complications are preventable by just keeping to the preventive measures. And hypertension itself, although cannot be cured, can be controlled, it can be treated. Professor Adiola Animashaun spoke on the sub-theme of hypertension in children. Now, there are many things that cause this uh, high, high, high blood pressure in children. Most of the time, in adults, they talk about primary one, but in children, we talk about secondary one that is more common. In other words, there's an illness in them which is now causing the high blood pressure. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, High blood pressure is defined as a reading of 140 over 90 or higher. Love Oyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.